Shalom, wonderful people of God. It's a joy to be coming your way once more. It's a beautiful Tuesday evening. And you know when it's Tuesday evening, we come your way with a special teaching with the man of God, Pastor Bed. We are dealing with the subject matter of spiritual marriage, the realities of this phenomenon, and the extent to which it plagues the lives of many. Last week, the man of God set us on a certain divine course, opening up the scriptures. It was gripping. It was heart-wrenching as many a person found their life sculpted in the pages of scripture as truth concerning spiritual marriage was brought to light many a viewer saw their life being painted on the canvas of god's word noticing that all was not well but god surely when he brings his truth he makes us understand that the truth makes us free Tonight we are here to feast upon the word of God, to gaze upon the beauties of his word, that which ensures liberty and that which brings freedom. It's a joy to be in God's presence once more with you, the man of God, Pastor Obed. God bless you, Pastor Daniel. Happy to have you here. Excited to be here, full of joy yeah. of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. <laughs> man of God, last week was gripping as we journeyed the course of the scriptures mm. concerning the matter of spiritual marriage yes and what it entailed the messages that came in the calls that we have had subsequent to last Tuesday's broadcast have been overwhelming mm. and we are confident that tonight God by you would gift us greater understanding concerning the subject matter for we will know the truth and the truth will surely make us free. Hallelujah. Man of God, before we, we, we even go deeper, I would want to understand, and I believe my viewers do, mm -hmm. how critical is the matter of spiritual marriage to the life of any believer, of any person, or even any family or nation? What makes the subject of spiritual marriage a very critical matter that needs keen and detailed attention to. Thank you very much. Um, I believe that this platform is a very spiritual um, impact and platform and for which reason I would want us to take a word of prayer sure. and allow God to lead. Yes. Father, we commit this moment into your hands. In Jesus' name. We ask that you will take the lead. Yes, Lord. Thou breaker, go ahead of us. In Jesus' name. Break shackles. In Jesus' name break chain yes dismiss the work of the enemy in the name of jesus and let your people go free yes lord i ask that almighty god let your glory be seen take total authority and charge over the airway in the name of jesus i pray that you would magnify the words of your servant in jesus name let it be your very words yes, lord let it be like fire on my tongue in the name of jesus and let it burn and let it set the hearts of my hearers yes, ablaze in jesus name i give you glory in jesus name amen amen all right um pastor daniel um you are asking about the criticality of yes spiritual marriage yes first of all um i would start by saying that it's critical because we serve a jealous God mm. the Bible says that we shouldn't provoke the Lord to jealousy that's true um, when you look at it in the Old Testament and you look at it in the New Testament and the both context it has to do with the people of God coming under a certain unauthorized authority of God so in the old testament he said for thou shalt worship no other god yes for the lord whose name is jealous mm -hmm. is a jealous god yes. additionally the word of god says that the nation of israel would go into tribulation as we know in the book of deuteronomy the chapter number four but before they are going into tribulation he says that for he's a jealous god deuteronomy chapter four um, he said for the lord thy god is a consuming fire even a jealous god so by that scripture alone 
we understand that what made the people to go through tough times some of the times could be as a result of rebellion against God now in the New Testament also this is Old Testament in the New Testament also when Paul was talking about sacrifices to idols and submission to idols he also says that for he is a jealous God and that we should not provoke the Lord to jealousy in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 he actually makes that plain our God is a jealous God one two he says don't provoke him to jealousy so remember that in our spirits we spoke about how that we are joined to the Lord to be one spirit yes now for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy and this wise Paul was talking about espousing a people to God that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ so this was the work of Paul who is saying that he is jealous over the people that he's supposed to present to God apart from that this Paul also says that apart from he being jealous we should not provoke God to jealousy now in in first Corinthians chapter 10 verse chapter 22 10, the verse 22 and the, the word of God says that do we provoke the Lord to jealousy do we provoke the Lord to jealousy are we stronger than he are we stronger than he mm. but in that context mm -hmm. he was talking about idol worship yes which we would come back to when yes. we begin to deal with family idols actually in the verse above yes he goes on to say that um you cannot drink of you the cannot cup, drink the cup, cup of, the Lord, of the Lord, the cup of devil. Precisely. And he was talking about the things that the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. Yes. And in that whole chapter 10, Paul was dealing with idol worship. That's true. Okay. So why does he then say that you cannot provoke the Lord to jealousy? Because he does not want you part he does not want you to partake in devils. He doesn't want you to have any union with devils, even as you have a union with the Lord because when you do that you provoke the lord to jealousy every child of god who has come under the plague of spiritual marriage is provoking god to jealousy every child of god every child of god that has the problem of spiritual, spiritual marriage is provoking god to jealousy even when they don't know it if they have it so long as you have so long as you have spiritual, spiritual marriage, marriage it you is are critical the jealousy of because God. you are incurring at that moment the jealousy of God. That makes it a serious matter. Yes, very serious. Because at that point in time, you are now participating as a result of marriage because marriage is participation. Yes. He said the two will become one flesh. And that is in the flesh realm. So now, if it is now in the spirit and you are one with the Lord, and now that you are born again being one with the lord spiritually you are now also participating it is simply an extra marital affair that is going on yes. so you are a believer you are married to the lord he said i have espoused you to one husband see this we as men of god must take this subject very serious teach it in our churches because as men of God, we are supposed to present the people that have been given to us as our flock, as just virgins to the Lord, to Christ. I'm putting a lot of things together. Yes. One, it is critical because God is a jealous God. Precisely. Two, it is critical because you are provoking God to, to jealousy. jealousy. Three, it is critical because the man of God that you are serving under is supposed to be jealous that you, having been espoused to the Lord and he doing a critical work over you, you are in an extramarital spiritual affair. So he must now become very jealous. So when it comes to the ministry, be it deliverance, ministering, tokens, and whatsoever, and even as I'm speaking and I'm sitting here, I am ministering this word with fervor and holy jealousy over the bride, over the church, over the people of God. That is how come from the beginning I said, if any man of God 
stands up and takes any position that there is nothing like spiritual marriage that person doesn't know god hmm. i am not you're not mincing words mincing words nor exaggerating because if you are involved you let's consider it for just dreams you sleep you dream you are sleeping with someone else do you think it's fair to god that you are married to god and married to a man here on earth and you are involved in a spiritual extra marital affair so as a man of god just like paul i have a duty to play in the body of christ my role and my contribution is to ensure that the body is presented just in chastity to the lord what is chastity one that has not been touched in the spirit now do you know that if you have spiritual marriage it can disqualify you from becoming a part of the 144,000 company very serious he said these are they that have not been defiled with women in revelation 14 verse 4 yes these are they these are they which were not defiled. which were not defiled with women with women why for they are virgins they are virgins these are they these are they which follow the lamb the lamb is their head they follow him with us wherever he goeth yes these were redeemed from among men being the first fruits unto god and unto the lamb we don't have all the time to eschatologically expose who the 144,000 are but i have spoken about the 144,000 company i've played it several times on television and we know that the 144,000 company are actually them that are sealed who are the servants of god according to revelation chapter 7 and revelation chapter 14 yes so now he said in revelation chapter 7 he said till we have sealed the servants of god in their foreheads yes. So you as a man of God, not really with the church, you as a man of God, when you see in the spirit that one of your church members has spiritual marriage, you must be jealous mm. over that person and that should move you to seek freedom for the person, to sort that spiritual extramarital affair. You must be jealous. Jealous over the church that God has placed you as an angel over, the person involved must understand that he or she is provoking the Lord to jealousy and God is a jealous God. Pastor Obed, always a blessing. I'm very excited to let you know that by the special grace of God, okay, I put together a material on everything that I know on spiritual marriage. It is all about spiritual marriage. That is my latest book. It is not bragging. There is no book on earth like this book. I am not bragging. Hmm. On the matter of spiritual marriage, nothing has been written. What has been particularly done is prayer topics mm. Mm. but to go into the matter there is virtually no material apart from looking into the scriptures the bible okay there is no material that exposes the kingdom of darkness okay. on spiritual mm. marriage all right as this book that means that there's a novel material it's that a you, novel material. you must you must get for yourself you must get it for your friends you must get it for your family members your loved ones anyone that you know that is connected to you that is experiencing this plague in any dimension this is a must-have you should place in your order now wherever it is that you are around the various nations of the world you can send in your whatsapp message now make your whatsapp call now call in 024-703-6 one three six and place your order